Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a QR code and a data matrix code. It is very similar and almost the same as using the um, barcode or creating a barcode in the previous videos. So let's go ahead and get started. Select Edit, Edit Single File. Now from the side here, you'll see I have QR code and DM code. If I select QR code, it auto populates with that and you'll see we have some different menu options here. If I hit DM, oops, DM code, you'll see it populates with the DM code and we have some slightly different options, but, ed but editing that or programming it is the same. So let's go ahead and we'll select our QR code. We'll hit edit. So let's say I want this to show my company's website because I want them to go to there. So you can do, oftentimes this is used for like a landing page. And I'll hit finish. Now you see the more information I put in that QR code, the larger it gets. So right now it's just slightly off the screen, but this is important that it's showing the entire QR code when you print. So I can try to make an adjustment to move it, but what I'm going to go ahead and do, we can leave this here. And we'll just go ahead and use the scaling option to take it down one size and position it there. Now a QR code will also allow you to use some variable data specifically the counter. So if you wanted that QR code to show your lot number and a counter, you could do that. And we're just simply going to insert our counter one into the, into the message. And you'll see from the drop down we have other choices here. So we have time settings, which will also allow us to use that expiration date or manufacturing date, whichever you'd like to do in the QR code. So if you want your customers to be able to scan a QR code to see this information, it's there for you. So we're going to hit cancel and move on to the DM code here. Type this and as before, same situation here. We can go ahead and insert any data that we want in here. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it there. And you'll see we have the scale as before. We can increase this size here. And this variable button has been grayed out on the DM code. So we don't have the same ability with the data matrix code to put that variable data in there. I think this is mostly used in the pharmaceutical industry. And that it's that simple. So as before, we would just hit file and save. Let's just call this QR. There it is, QRDM. And now we're ready to print our message. Thank you for watching.